Social networks are nowadays becoming more and more popular among people, politicians, business corporations, celebrities and ordinary people are using this media in their specific way. For example, announcing news, spreading ideas, posting advertisement, etc. All these users are trying to gain as much attention as possible. On the other hand, each individual in the network may follow a lot of people, which creates a competition among broadcasters to take the individual's attention. This makes user attention precious and hard to gain. Now, what explains user engagement? Likes, favorites, or retweets and shapes? Well, of course, all of these are important, but before these happen, your post must be seen by the follower and should not get lost in the user's overwhelmed news feed. Take a typical Twitter user an example. Each time he opens his Twitter app, he scrolls down to see his news feed and checks his new tweets. We denote the average number of tweets he checks each time by his visible area. Let's demonstrate our point of view with a simple animation. So in this animation, for simplicity, we assume the user's visible area is only 7 tweets, which is exactly the number of tweets that fit in the phone's screen. So our broadcaster is on top and his four competitors are listed below him. Each of them are tweeting and trying to attain the user's attention. The more you stay on top 7, the higher chance you have getting the user's attention. So our broadcaster's goal is to remain in the visible area of the user's feed as long as possible. Now, this question arises immediately. What might be a systematic way of posting that with the same amount of posts as before gives you more visibility? The first step to solve this problem is observing our followers' news feed and learning its pattern, which based on real data observation is a monthly or weekly periodic behavior. After that, we should shape up our own behavior based on the learned pattern. To be concrete, we can model users' periodic behaviors by Poisson process intensities and find expected time being in visible area as a function of our followers' newsfeed intensity and our own intensity. It can be shown that this function is indeed con concave with respect to our intensity, which is somehow intuitive but actually a bit hard to prove, and also our constraints such as a predefined budget, don't change the convexity. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you a lot.